when should a footballer be starting to learn uh, different types of, of kicking techniques? When do you typically start? Oh, mate, as early as possible. And um, we just encourage parents really to, to send their kids whenever they've got intrinsic motivation, mate. So whenever they're keen to improve their skills and want to do more, um, we would love to see them. So um, we just think that intrinsic motivation is so important rather than parents, you know, it's okay to push them to come to you and things like that. But when a kid really, really wants to improve and wants to, to learn some different kicks and, um, and do those different variety of kicks, you know, they're the ones that are going to learn and, and really progress with their footy. So um, that's what we're all about is when, you know, we've got some great stories behind that too where um, kids are paying their own way to come and see us and things like that. And they're the ones that, that really, really improve and that are keen to, to, you know, dive into all those variety of kicks and learn the, the correct technique. So, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. And how does it, you mentioned there, a girl that's working with you, how does it differ for, for girls and boys? Let's say brothers and sisters are going out for a kick. Yeah. Should the brother be focusing on different things even though at the same age compared to the sister and vice versa or is the game the same for both genders yeah great question I, I if you asked me that two years ago jack i would have said yes that let's do it differently but i i don't treat females or males any differently um no matter what age i think i think they can all learn at the same rate um just depending on where they're at with their stage of learning and things like that but you know the same way we teach the boys is the same way we teach the girls so um, you know, there's a lot of things that come into play. Like I said, their stage of learning, their age, their experience and all those type of things. Um, but what I've learned over the last couple of years is we've got to treat them the same because um, there's no difference. So we, we teach the same things we do it's for, the, for the boys and the girls and, it, and, it, and it's going really well. What are some key pillars in terms of kicks that you, that you start with uh, yeah. for, the, you but, know, for the basic kicking technique? Yeah, great. Yeah, um, so we... We, we tend to just look at what they've got. Um, so we'll, we'll, I'll film them and just see what they've got at the start. Um, and if they're going really well, you know, we, we wouldn't make many adjustments. We might just tinker with a few things. Um, but otherwise, if, if they need a little bit more help, you know, we always start and, and, and look at the, the ball grip to start with because if they can't grip the ball properly, um, they can't control the ball down onto their boots. So we, we like to use smaller balls. We like to start with tennis balls. Um, and things like that, just to give them the confidence of the motion of kicking. Um, because once they get that motion, then you can progress them up a size. You know, you might go from a tennis ball to a size one, to a two, to whatever age group they're at. Um, but we're really big on, on teaching the motion of kicking first, um, getting mm -hmm. the grip right, um, and then we, can, then we can go from there. But it's all about, you know, instilling that confidence in them. Um, to be able to do the the motion that that, that is the the one that the professionals are using most of the time. So for, for the coaches, is that video analysis? Is that one way that you find that you've developed that, like to accelerate your, your coaching eye, or is it just yeah. putting time in the in the game coaching field sessions? Talk us through. Yeah, how, a bit of both. There's eye. nothing. There's nothing like video feedback for me. Um, you can see a kick live, and you can you can break it down and think of some things, but. For me, filming them front on, filming them side on, putting it in slow mo, um, it really does, you know, make it pretty obvious of where you can get your best bang for your buck for the athlete. So, what are the one or two things that that I think can help them progress with their kicking? And it, it might be just their approach that they just might they might need more of a consistent stride pattern. Um, it might be their ball grip that you're looking at their ball grip and you just say that ball grip is not going to promote a great control. Um, so that's going to affect other things as well. So there's lots of things you can look at. Um, but as I said, pick one or two and using video evidence for yourself will give you confidence, but it'll also mm -hmm. be great for the athlete to, to show them.